Welcome to a video about beams. We have uh, plenty of LVL stock on this job. We're gonna start setting some of our bigger beams and uh, get things rolling. So let's jump into it and figure it out. So the uh, first first one we want to talk about here is uh, we're going to do a double 11 and 7 8 says the engineer to go from the outside wall there to um, there's an interior partition wall. So that will allow us to take out basically everything here so that the ceiling will just run out into the addition all the same. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a temporary LVL up higher on the sheeting and screw it into those studs all the way across. And then we'll put a kicker out to our outside wall and a kicker down to this floor, um, which should help hold everything. Then we'll put in our first LVL, 11 and 7 eighths. We'll make some marks and we'll start cutting back and then we will lamb those together and set that uh, big LVL there and then once that guy is in place and everything is hangered off then we can remove this whole chunk of wall but as soon as that LVL is in place we'll be able to run we'll have to take this window out patch the hole in and then we'll be able to run a ledger all the way across from that wall to this wall and then we can start running our ceiling joists in the addition here so we can start our roof framing so let's jump into these beams all right so we stripped off some of the boards here uh then what we did is we've got a long lvl that's just temporarily installed with some of those uh grk lags uh all the way across so that's going to help support that we're going to do a little kicker guy out here down to the wall and then we're gonna do a kicker down here to the floor. And then on the inside, I gotta cut some two by fours and wedge them in um, along here to help support this guy. And then what we did is we took our LVL that is actually going in, which is the lower one, and we made our marks across the top so we know where that top elevation is so that everything will play nice with the uh, bottom of the floor joist. We're gonna now take the beam out, measure back or mark back with a square, and then we can cut those. Then we can cut these guys just low so that we got room to kind of wiggle it up and into place. So that's kind of the game plan. Tempo all just about done. We're doing a little kicker brace, and then uh, we use those three inch version of those, what are those, 5 16 slags or something? Mm -hmm. Um, and if you run them at a little bit of an angle down, they will like, kind of cinch up and really tighten up nice to the floor. So um, I didn't want to cut each one of these specific because they would probably end up being too short to be used somewhere else. And certainly don't have uh, money to just waste on framing lumber for fun. So that's why we did it this way. But those things have like crazy holding power. So should be plenty fine. And then out here, we've now removed our LVL and we'll start with the circular saw and make a nice cut. And then we'll finish with the oscillator. And life's good, we can put a beam in there. All right, our first LVL is in. <clears throat> we had to basically just remove the whole wall because uh, we needed to put a jack stud in here so that we could catch this end and it wasn't worth cutting a pocket because this was just all wobbly so we're going to uh, lamb up our next one and get that guy on here and then uh, shoot them together and put in my last jack stud So we had to get that one a couple cranks with the uh, bottle jack, get it flushed up, 
And then uh, I think he's got like three more, or four more maybe, something like that. And we'll be in really good shape. So then we'll be able to take out our temp wall and the big opening will be completed. And that'll wrap up a gigantic opening. So um, the kitchen grows like three feet ish into the addition. So I didn't want there to be a beam across here. Um, I wanted the ceiling to be able to go across so it didn't look like we ever messed with this. So um, two 11 and seven eighths, some pretty huge hangers. I think there's 30 nails to a hanger, which is plenty. So uh, everything stayed put after we got her situated. Um, as you can see, there's some discrepancies in this corner. We'll talk about that in a later video. Uh, we're actually going to fur out this wall to get it perfectly in plane with that wall so that our kitchen cabinets can just glide right along um, and our drywall will look seamless. So there'll be some goofy framing in that too, but it does look pretty, pretty cool to see a opening that big. So we're going to take our temporary LVL off. I think we're going to patch two boards of the um, shiplap back on over our beam so that we can hang our ceiling ledger from there all the way across. And then we don't have to worry about the three quarter difference there. Uh, and then we can start throwing ceiling in the addition and chase the roof up. So that is how to put in a massive load bearing beam and delete an exterior wall. We're going to wrap this one up here. That's a pretty cool one. Um, I feel like that deserves a couple minute video of its own. And uh, as we keep framing, I'll keep videoing stuff and different processes along the way. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. Man, I am tired. And we'll see you guys in the next one.